What's going on guys? My name is Skill87 and today I'm going to be reviewing a little game called Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now, I am here to give my opinion, my review on what is pretty much right now, right now at this very moment, a fucking like, this game is all over M4G. Half of M4G loves it. Half of M4G hates it. Some people are like, what the fuck? Some people are like, another new direction, Capcom? How many different how many different directions is Resident Evil going to go in? You know, I did not jump on the bandwagon immediately with this game because of all the reviews. I kind of said, you know what? I really do want to play it, regardless of what the reviews state. But the fact that I knew that Slant Dick made this game, I was like, oh. and I'm, I got a lot of other games I'm still playing, you know. So I said, you know, let me save 60 bucks for now. And I got lucky. I found out, you know, someone I know has the game. I said, I let me borrow for that person. Played the game for two days. And you know what? I like it. This game ain't bad at all, actually. It's not bad at all. It's one of these rare games that it's not actually, like, it's actually a good game. It's just plagued by bullshit and glitches. But the game is not actually bad. You see, there are games that just suck. You know, their games just fucking suck. You know, they suck. Like, everything about the game fucking sucks. This game actually, it's pretty cool. It's fucking cool. It's fun to play. It's good shit, especially co-op. It's good shit. But then there's then there's bullshit. Like there's a lot of bullshit in this game. Like I'm sitting there, I'm like, God damn, there's so much fucking bullshit in this game. Operation Raccoon City is another new attempt at the Resident Evil franchise. Capcom hired Slant Dick. AKA the guys that brought us SOCOM on the PSP and Confrontation on the PS3. And said, you know, you know, we here at Capcom really think that you guys at Slant Sick can really can really, you know, bring the fan base more action packed greatness, you know, in the world of Resident Evil. When in all reality, even I'm gonna say it, and I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Capcom is really relying on the fact that the Resident Evil name would sell this game. And it did. This game has sold fucking phenomenally. This is Slant 6's most successful fucking game. This game has sold over 500,000 units. It's fucking crazy. Even regardless of the reviews. People literally said, fuck the reviews. It's Resident Evil. That is banana. I knew it was going to happen. I was like, holy shit. This game sold so well. Slant 6 is looking real pro right now. So, uh... Yeah, but jokes aside, they they actually got they, they got a lot of things right. Just just like confrontation, the game is plagued by bullshit glitches, shit that I don't know how this got past QA. They should have had a beta for this shit. Slant six, it's like so. The story is this: you're a bunch of fucking mercenaries basically there's six of y'all each with your own little tricks of the trade you bring to the table all six of y'all are a bunch are like not interesting at all and basically you live the events of resident evil 2 and 3 from a different perspective ultimately leading up to a meeting with leon kennedy the resident evil one of two icons in the franchise. You will revisit the mansion, the police station, the fucking labs, the the scene like when you're in the streets of Resident Evil Three and Two. It's like whoa, like straight nostalgia. When you play this game, like you you recognize, especially if you're a veteran of the franchise, you recognize every area you're in. I'm like this is awesome. I'm in the fucking mansion. I'm in the fucking Raccoon City streets. I remember everything. I'm like, this is awesome. It's great. This game got that a lot right. 
it got down this fun feeling. It's, it's like it's like Left 4 Dead, basically, in a sense. And listen to me when I say this. Left 4 Dead, when you play by yourself with the AI, is really fucking gay and boring. When you play, when you play with friends, it's like intense shit. Same thing with this game. You play by yourself, boring. You play with friends, intense shit. So, yeah. So what's wrong with this game? Like, basically, let me get this out there. The way you play the game is like this. It plays like SOCOM in a sense. If you play SOCOM, you've already, in a sense, felt like what it was played to play this game. You, you, It's a straight, fast-paced action game. You take on the zombie horde and push forward through the missions and just fuck shit up, basically. Progressing with new and returning characters and living, you know, doing the events of Resident Evil 2 and 3 from a different perspective of mercenaries, all right? Game, very fast paced, like I said, fun. But there's issues with this bitch. Issues that piss me the fuck off. Right? On paper, I, I, on paper, this game is great. And when you play through the game, especially with friends, it's a damn good time if you ignore the flaws. This game has so many glitches and flaws, it's annoying. Like, Graphical glitches, getting stuck in infinite melees, bullets not registering, enemies not flinching when you swear to God you sh you're laying fucking ammunition all over them, zombies appearing out of nowhere, like meleeing an enemy and you're in the middle of an animation like you're, you know, you're cutting their neck open and you're cutting the air basically, weak sound effects, like a plethora of weaponry when most of them are fucking useless. Useless abilities from the characters that you'll never fucking use. Lag. Lag. Like, awkward fucking aiming controls. You can't even fucking, like, sidestep hop. Like, you can't even, like, you know, hop side to side. You fight enemies with guns in this game. And I can't hop side to side? Are you serious? Cool story, bro. It's the cover system. I go up to a cover and it all cover automatically does it by itself. Like, I don't want to be in cover. Like, can I have a button, please, that makes it go into cover? Please? Like, go start it, bro. Um, useless AI partners. Your AI partners are stupid as fuck. Stupid. Stupid AI enemies like the hunters. They'll just stand there. They'll run away from you. They'll come back. They'll run away from you. It's like, oh, let me fight you no, no, tomorrow. Let me fight you again no, tomorrow. Now, the zombies, at least the zombies. Oh my god, at least the zombies. They got the zombies right. The zombies are great. They come at you and they're horrific. And the sound effects and the zombies and they scream at you. You fight old school zombies. The crimson heads. You fight dogs. You fight the tyrant. You, it's they got, they got that down. They got that right. The environments always feel great. The environments feel like straight up Resident Evil, the straight nostalgia. When the zombies attack you, they got this crazy way of coming at you, they jump on your screen shit, they fuck you up, and you got like 20 of these motherfuckers coming at you, you get strange, you start meleeing them and shit. It feels great. That shit, they got down great. Great job, Sans 6. I fucking love that. I love when the zombies come at you, and you start, sh you start laying on them, like, oh shit, and you get surrounded, and you start whooping some serious fucking ass. Right? Your SOCOM mechanics for Resident Evil fit this game. You know, it fits. You know, the, the concept and ideas that we're going for, the SOCOM mechanics fit. All right? But then there's all these glitches like Slant 6. Like, you need a better QA tier. You need betas. Like, what in the fuck? There are too many glitches and issues with this game. If you play this game by yourself, it's not worth 60 bucks. If you, if you get this game for 40 bucks and you have friends to play with, it's a fun as fuck game. It's fun. Like, like Breezy. Breezy made a video defending this game. And I understand where he's coming from. And I agree. The game is fun. It's enjoyable. It's, it's, it's a damn good time. But as a reviewer, I have to be brutally honest. Fucking game got too many fucking issues. The online modes are ridiculous. Like, you play Hero, and it's cool. You get to play as all the major characters and all the lower, lesser characters from the different Resident Evil games. But you know, why the fuck does Leon... Take a thousand bullets to kill. And, like, they got, you know, it has, like, a capture flag variant, a team deathmatch variant. The hero's mode is the big game, the big game went online. But, 
like, get your balancing fucking fixed. Like, I'm already playing the game. I'm like, yo, you don't even need as many bullets to kill an enemy in Gears of fucking War. And Gears of War is known for taking a lot of bullets to kill shit. Man, this game, man, Gears of War, like, shit with the amount of bullets. Like, Leon Kennedy's like, locust for my ass, nigga. I can take a thousand bullets. You can stand there, just get shot. Like, and you, you get to fight with an enemy, you just stand there shooting like this. I was like, are you fucking serious, bro? This game has a lot of glitches, right? In my written review, like I typically do in my videos, I will list a lot of issues with the game. But, like I said, this is one of those rare games that regardless of the issues, it's fun. Like, they got the fun factor. Slant sick, slant dick, you got the fun factor down, but you guys fucking suck when it comes to your game's engine. Enemies should not disappear from my screen when I'm fucking shooting them. When I shoot a gun, it should sound intimidating. It should feel intimidating. Alright? When I melee an enemy, I shouldn't feel like fucking Jesus Christ. When I get surrounded, you can melee. Like, you, the way your characters melee, you would think that, fuck them, machine gun, nigga. I could just melee this fucking whole game. And then your inconsistent AI. So, and then there are times the AI is awesome. Like, there were times my AI partners whipped some serious ass. And then there are times the AI just stands like this, like surrounded by enemies. Uh, I'm dying, help me. I'm just like, oh, nigga, shut up. What the fuck is you doing? You bitch. But yeah, the game sold very well. Namely because it says Resident Evil on the game case. But, you know, Slant 6, once again proving that they kind of suck with certain things. Like, if there's a part two to this shit, Capcom... Don't let Slant 6 do it. And if Slant 6 gets put to make their sequel to this game, for the love of almighty fucking God, have a beta. Alright? But, it is what it is. Fun game. Just plagued by bullshit. Online, pretty fucking cool. Plagued by bullshit. But, they got a lot right. They actually did get a lot right. I love the feeling of nostalgia I get when I visit old places. I love when I fight the zombie horde and I whoop some serious ass. I love the way the zombies react. You know, I love the way the zombies act when they come at you. I love the fact that they got Crimson Hand in this game. You know, you if you feel like a badass until you play this game. But a lot of dumb shit with the game. There's stuff in the game that doesn't not be there's stuff in the game that doesn't need to be here, shit like that. But it's still a fun game. But I gotta give it the score it actually deserves. I'm gonna give this game the 6.5. Alright? Not not to say the 6.5. And for those who are about to go, oh my god, 6.5, this game got that many glitches and that many issues. But the game's still fun. It's one of these. It's one of these rare six. It's a six point five, but it's not a good six point five. The, the, the score got lower due to technical issues, but the game's still fun. Rent it. Definitely rent it. Especially, especially if, like you get four people to rent it with you. you you're gonna get a good week of fun out of this game. You know what I'm saying? But don't 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 spend sixty bucks. Basically, don't spend sixty bucks. If you can get this game for cheap, like forty bucks, you know, thirty forty bucks, then sure, go for it. But not sixty. Hell to the fuck no. 6.5 out of 10 for the PFC birds. Thank you for watching my review. Tell me what you guys think about my review in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next video. Peace.